Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Should we show our t-shirts? No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it, it took us a little while to figure out how to get that video up. Well, it didn't take us a while to figure it out. It's just every time we were sitting somewhere to have a little bit of time to upload it, we realized it was going to take hours and hours and hours because after about an hour and it said 7% done, I was like, this is ridiculous. So we put it up. Oh, let's put it up through the night last night. And yeah, just we just ran hit play. Went up. We so, had to adjust your iPad so that it wouldn't turn itself off. We just had on all the time. So I plugged it in so it wouldn't. And that was the other thing. We tried to do it. And then I said, it's 17% uploaded with 16% battery left. And I wasn't <laughs> anywhere where I could charge it. So I said, forget it for the fifth time. <laughs> so now that that's up, that was a couple days ago. We went. Today is Friday. Friday. Hold on a minute. You got a fuzz. Uh oh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it is Friday. March I don't know the date. 16th. March 16th. And I think it's one of my family members' birthdays. It's Kimberly's birthday. Oh, nice. Today. Yeah, I'll have to text Happy her. Birthday. She's Kimberly, the mother that this. just had twin girls, and she has a three-year-old daughter, oh, so she so has nice. a busy life and a full-time job. <laughs> busy life. Yeah. So, typically, the podcasts after a yarn festival are about three hours long, and mom doesn't like that. So we, and <laughs> she would break it up anyway. Yes, she would. We just think it's more fun for you guys to get it in real time. She'd, as ta it's she'd take a nap somewhere and belong that in there. But we also are going to seriously uh, today or tomorrow ship our yarn home because we have our, it's ridiculous. I'm not worried about space as much as I'm worried about weight. Yes, me too. So maybe I should take because out some heavy at things. Least a, a lead and a half. I think I might take pounds. out some heavy things of clothing and things that I don't want to wear anymore and keep my yarn with me. I'm afraid if it gets lost, <laughs> I would just have a heart attack. I'd have a heart attack too, but it's not like I'm going to knit on it. And you just have to trust some things. I know, but I'd rather lose a pair of jeans. <laughs> I'd rather lose all my under, me. Well, okay, I don't know. So we're going to go through. It. We're going to go through our haul, and we went to yesterday. We met so many incredible people. It was so okay. So here's the thing. These proper British people are too proper to pinch people's butts. So I had several people come up to me and say, I really don't want to pinch your bum. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure somebody else has already done that. I said, well, you're not going to get anything unless you do. So I turned around and I thought, oh. so they I'm did. I'm going to be pinching your butt. <laughs> okay. So we met so many sweet, sweet people. I did have I, somebody yell, Debbie. And it was someone from South North Carolina, South Carolina. So it was an American. Yes, and then <laughs> and then somebody pinched my butt and screamed at you at the same time. You can imagine if somebody is close enough to pinch my butt and scream at the same time, about blew out my eardrum. That was, that was Christy, Christy Glass. Glass. <laughs> I said Christy. She's crazy. You're the only one that's done both at the same time. <laughs> so, and we did a sweet video of Andrea and Andrew from Thank Pretty Thank you Pitting. guys so I much. I know they think our family are creepy stalkers. Well, we actually ran into Andrea when we were at one of the booths and she, she had separated from Andrew thinking that if they weren't together, she wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that ridiculous? Please. So she no. said, I just had to run out and get a, one skein of yarn because I needed this little skein. It was one of the little tiny... Miss No Stash. Just needed yeah, one little... Yeah, one little skein to finish a project. So she was so gracious. She stood there and talked to us for a while and, yeah. and she just was so sweet. She knew us right away and she mm -hmm. we said... We know our mom has been contacting you to try to become a patron. <laughs> and then, at the, and then at the podcaster meetup, we and I said we have you know let's go up and, and talk because we didn't see Andrew before, so we yeah. went up and we were standing waiting patiently. Another couple because they were talking to were somebody talking. else, yeah. And I guess they were sort of towards the end of the conversation, and Andrew just kind of scooted around the lady and came up and it hugged gave both us of a us. Big hug. It was I so sweet. Myself, Does he go up to strange women all the time? And no, like that? he was looking for us because mom had talked not talked, but mom had been messaging. messaging him back and forth and so it was he so must fun. have looked us up so he could know who we were and, and they're both very it. tall oh i guess anybody she's about that. this big around you guys and he's about that big too yes and they're very tall and they're so sweet oh and so gosh, we talked so and we nice. laughed and and i and i said i said well the two things y'all don't have here and after i said that a couple times andrew said um we're Australian. You're not talking about us. You're talking about them. I said, oh, I'm sorry. That's yes, right. I you're forgot. Right. I forgot. You're right. <laughs> they don't have creamer here. For your coffee. For your coffee. Flavored creamer. Creamer especially. is, for people who don't know, creamer is like thick milk that's flavored. Things you would get at um, Starbucks. 
And cream, cream, people use cream all over the world to make whipped cream and use it in cooking and for baking. So it's not like they don't have cream. They have cream here in the stores. They, they just, just don't, don't package it and use it for flavoring their not, coffee like we do. But it's like not flavored do. already. No. Well, that's what I'm saying. They don't, like Nescafe doesn't have their flavored creamers right. in the stores so here. Having, so I've have milk. Milk. Poor baby. And they, they don't have washcloths. They have them, but they don't sell them to wash your body in the shower. So this is why people, I, I said to Andrea, I said, what do you use to wash your body? She says, <laughs> we just lather up. <laughs> she says, and the other thing, she says, the, the water comes out really hard. I said, well. And really hot. It, it washes <laughs> off the, the soap and the dirt and your skin. So then you're very clean. <laughs> you don't need a washcloth here. <laughs> we laughed so hard. And then I said, oh, would you please, would you mind? doing a little video for my mother. So we found a little couch and she sat down and she sunk one and she woo, sunk real way down. But they were, they were so sweet. Thank they you were. guys. Very nice. You know, they probably won't watch us because they had enough of us yesterday. <laughs> okay, let's, let's But there's this. still so many more people that we want to see today. I know. So we're taking some time this morning. We're going to walk, do a little bit walking over, try and see the castle. And then this afternoon, we're going to go and spend the afternoon mm -hmm. at the festival, and we're going to stay a little later. I think they have another podcaster event tonight that we're going to try and sneak into. We're going to go over into. to the Elephant Cafe yeah. so we can do a little bit of Harry Potter stuff. But we just had a really wonderful day. We ran into Allison again yesterday. Don't interrupt yeah. me on Instagram. She was our tour guide in London. And, and Debbie put a shout out about our next little leg of the trip, yes. going to Durham. And we already have a... Three ladies are gonna like pick us up like from the train we're gonna station. Have an we're gonna have, are, are they gonna be blue lights and separate? You know, when we drive down the road, they're gonna know. It's no, us. but we're gonna be treated to so sweet. ride a ride to the hotel. I think one of the ladies, is and they're gonna drop us off, and in that short ride, they're gonna be like, "Thank God, oh we don't make any more plans with them. Yeah. We are finished." Somebody but we're only travel. there. We're only there that oh, afternoon one night. and that night. So. Hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit of the town and then have a nice bite to eat and then enjoy some knitting and then we'll be on our way. Nobody's reached out to us yet from York. So the big it's city the where we're the town. longest spot, we may be on our own, but we'll see. So we're real excited, but we're trying to enjoy every moment. As yeah, we, we don't want to hurry up because forward. the next thing we'll know we'll be in Atlanta and be like, ah, it's over. I know. No. Not yet. Okay, so let, we did very well yesterday. We had a couple of splurges, but we did go with the mindset of the few sweaters that Debbie and I had in our mind. We were going to knit two of them are the same, and one is different. So right, let's three roll. Of, yes, two of them are the same. One of mine is different, and then I had an impulse buy that I couldn't. So resist. when we got to the corn That's exchange, totally Friday was a day unless you had advance tickets, you couldn't go. So Thursday. It, I mean Thursday, yeah. yesterday. It was busy, but I don't think it's anywhere near what it's going to be like today. It was totally manageable. You could yes. walk around. You could Even go. though it was still three, four people deep at La Bienna May. La Bienna May was We crowded. did go anyway. We went we, there first. And yeah. And okay, we so had a little bit of a, there. we had a little bit of a internal battle with, you know, do we spend the money? It's a little expensive. But then we thought, you know what? This is the sister's trip of a lifetime. If we don't spend the money and just do it, we can make more money. And we didn't. We had the this same. This is a gift, right? So we should. Mm. Mom would be upset with us if we didn't. But she would have been awfully this. proud because we we have both probably have lived our lives in a frugal nature. We're yes. not high maintenance, and we're not you know constantly buying toys and things like that. So, but when, when, we, were, when we had a ten, splurge, when we, we splurge. Yesterday we had a ten minute conversation about transportation. So <laughs> we said, okay, somebody said you need exact change for the bus. Yeah. So do we go to the grocery store, have them give us all kinds of coins Buy that, we, that we don't know so that we can what break it, the ten and, and get all these coins that we don't know what they are and don't and and so that would be ridiculous. Make or, sure we get on the right bus in the right direction, right. And, or you can buy a bus ca a car that you can you use load up has day. minimum ten dollar ten. Pounds, so then we whatever. would have to find the bus route and where do we go and pick it up, or do we just call a cab? Call a cab and for three bucks. Get down to the corn exchange. Duh. That's exactly what we did. And it wasn't $3, but... It was, okay, $5. Yeah, it was... Okay, $6. Not much more. It was totally worth it. So, anyway, It was like what a mini would be at La Vienna May. She doesn't sell minis. But if they were, it'd be... Well, no, it wouldn't. It'd be more like $15. Anyway, it worked out perfectly. It was less than 10 Okay, pounds. so then we had to figure out how to do the, do the cab. 
Because right there <laughs> across from where we where we're staying is a grocery store and there's a little bar there. So we see cabs, so we go up and we tap on the first guy's window. He rolls it down, we said, Do you have are you no 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 not available? Okay, so we go to the next one. <laughs> they were waiting. Do you have a client? Oh yes, I have a client. So we said, okay, well, that's not how you do it. Apparently, in New York City, they just don't drive up. You just don't go like this. So we, we walked, and it was blowing, and it was, it was freezing cold. cold. So we walked where there was not a wind tunnel, but a little place we could sit. And we saw these two guys, construction workers, walking. We said, could you help us? How do you get a cab? And the guy says, you go like this. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> You don't do that. You don't tap on the there, window. There weren't enough cabs <laughs> driving by that at that were time available. of day. It was yeah, you know, not it was nine thirty, ten o'clock on a weekday. So they did say if the yellow light is lit up, that means they're available. Of course, there's no yellow lights driving by us. There was no cabs driving. So Debbie got smart and said there has got to be. I don't know how people do it without. Cell I just Googled. Says, there's got to be a, a taxi, and then an, and app, an app came, came up. up. Free so app. She downloaded, downloaded that. Mm -hmm. and, and in our information. Told them where we wanted to go, and it said track car, just like almost like Uber. And it says two minutes away, and it gives you the license plate number. So when this little black car or whatever pulled up with the license plate, I said, that's our guy. And so he opened the door. He said, Debbie? And we said, yes. Yeah, you, you put your name in the app. How and, brilliant. And it was great. They knew right where we were going. So now that we're experts about Very cabs. safe. I need to go get a Kleenex. Go get a snot rag, and I'll tell them what we're going to be talking about. I don't even know what I'm in. In the bathroom. Oh, it's called toilet paper roll. No, I don't have So we bought very smartly. Because we are smart like that. But and before we left yesterday, we said, let's just walk one more time down just in case we see anything. Well, of course, those are all the impulse buys. You walk out the exit when you're ready to leave. You just don't make one more trip around because then you'll have another bag of stuff, which is what the vendors want you to do. Okay, so we're going to talk about La Bienname because we went there first. So, well, and we went there twice. But the first time we went there, we had in mind, let me bring up our Princess Fiona sweater, which is an actually a sport weight. Okay, so they did not have any DK. They had singles, fingering weight, sport. Was that all they had, Debbie? I think. They said there was a they major snore, sock, they a snowstorm came sock through. Yarn. So you, you could buy a right. sock yarn with nylon. Did you say that? I'm yes. Sorry. They had a snowstorm which prevented them to getting their DK base before this event. So mm -hmm. they didn't have any DK. Or I would Do you have remember bought that two big snow, snowstorm that came through England just a, few, a couple weeks ago? Right, because we were... I think that was the one that messed them up. But well, they, they would have had sweet. to die very quickly. I, ha I have to say, she had her booth set up beautifully, and I posted a picture of it. And she also had really great helpers. She had one she lady did. outside the booth. She had two guys inside the booth with her. And all of their um, sport weight was actually on a yarn wall behind. Them. So they could go back and pull out the colors for you without it just becoming a huge and let mess me tell you, everywhere with people pulling it. How in often do you have Amy from La Bienna May pick the colors for your for sweater? You. We told her which sweater we wanted to do. Okay, so Princess Fiona. Okay, perfectly blown out. No, it's good. The picture's good. Okay. So it's this sport weight pullover with this beautiful lace just on one side. And it has a really nice, you know, scoop neck that's not, not, not too, too scoopy. High and not too scoopy. Not too scoopy. So I had gotten, do you remember, three skeins of this beautiful hippie yarn, hippie underscore yarn on Instagram. So I had these three uh, sport weight skeins and I needed at least two, possibly three others. So Amy chose... This beautiful, it's called, the color is Dire Wolf, to go with these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three variegated skeins at the top and for most of the sleeves and under where you um, knit in the round to, what is that called? Join. It under Join the under the sleeves before you do the sleeves and start. With, this is going to actually be the lace portion, the bottom. That's so I'll fade it into this. Thank you, Amy. Lobby NMA. And I'll show you the yarn that she picked for me for that for Fiona. Same sweater. I had to get five skeins, but she immediately, when I told her what we wanted to knit, she immediately went to the back and pulled these out and said, These are the skeins you need to get. And she pulled the she well, she we explained to her what we what we wanted to do. And she pulled out some other things and then we showed her the picture and she says, No, not this yarn. Just a minute, let me get you another. 
This one's Cal called Eshiness. Eshiness? I don't know. I can't read that, but yeah, so I have It's five. pretty true, isn't it? It Debbie? is. It's, it's a beautiful grayish brown base. Gray, dark charcoal gray. But it has these mm. green the green so that green. end up looking brown. It has these like eggplant purple. And it has this gold, this beautiful rusty gold color mixed in. And it's a total splurge. But you know what? On a sister ship of a lifetime, if we didn't splurge on these particular... We can't go to Paris and pick up her yarn. And her shop is always sold out immediately. So we said we're just going to take advantage of the time and... And do it. And we know mom would be proud of us for doing that, even though it is a bit And if it was a dyer that they do update, updates and there's always yarn in the shop, there's not always yarn in the shop. There's never yarn in the shop. Mm -hmm. So this would have been our only chance. Well, there probably <clears> is, <throat> but you have to like wait by your phone. Well, you have to be, be up at, at 3.30 yeah. in the morning. Okay, so remember the yarn I bought at the Country House Retreat from Suffolk Socks Julie? Oh, and that was another thing. Thank you, whoever mentioned. When we talk about people, we will try to tell you their either Etsy store or their Instagram name, so you'll know. So you can find Not them. everybody knows who Danny is. Danny is Little Bobbin. Suffolk Socks, Julie, that's Suffolk Socks. So she is a dyer, and uh, this is the Mama J colorway. She's the yarn tart. The that's yarn tart. That's the name of her yarn store. Tart. Yarn. The, the yarn tart. <laughs> so we found this really great lady, which we went Why back to. Why did you slow down yarn, so much? Because I said yarn tart yarn, and I looked oh, at it, oh, and I oh. had to read it. <laughs> doesn't say yarn tart yarn. It says yarn tart. <laughs> and then you look at it and it said, does it say the yarn tart? You have to go back to kindergarten to spell it out so your brain catches up. So this is the colorway, and there was a really great button lady there. We went by Danny three told us to go times. I'm so glad. Okay, do we know the name of that lady? Hold on a minute. Here's her body. It's TJ. <laughs> TC, TG. TG. TJ, TG. I bet you if we had... Oh, did you put your um, thing in there? Maybe we can find the name of it. Oh, so yes. So this okay. is Mama J. So I bought five ske four skeins from her. Textile so it, garden. The Henley is what I'm going to do. Uh, yes, okay. That, there it is. The Henley by Hohe is... I mean, not the Henley. The Timeless Henley by Hohe is what is going to be knit with this. And it takes five buttons... So I bought. I hold up the buttons mm -hmm. for you. They're little purple buttons, and I bought exactly five. <clears throat> Until we went back the next time, and Debbie bought buttons. She says you really probably need to buy an extra one just, just in case, case, which is true. One gets lost. And she says, "Well, I can ship." I'm like, "You're not going to ship in one button." I'm going to get an extra button. She probably would. She was. Very I know she sweet. would, but that would be ridiculous yes. for me to actually even ask her to do that. She was really nice. Okay, you're going to show I liked Archer? her since that was one yes. that was different so than the two of us. We were, we were lucky enough to get to meet Susan Doherty, who is a designer, and she was at the Country House Retreat with us. And she brought a whole Elizabeth? Slip. What did I say? Susan Doherty. Oh, Elizabeth. I don't know. I don't know if she had a middle name named Susan. No, Elizabeth so. Doherty. Sorry. Sorry, Elizabeth. My brain is not awake yet, apparently. And she brought a whole slew of samples. Of her patterns with her so we were able to try them on and feel the yarn and look at the colors and she had a very wide range of different types of yarns that she had used mm -hmm. for these patterns it was it was wonderful so I fell in love with this one called the archer not the archer just archer and Elizabeth is blue bee studios on Instagram so you can go look her up. Show her the pattern that everybody pretty much knows because it's been all over Instagram. The hat. Oh, yes. Lineate. And she was very sweet to gift us this pattern. Well, I can't have that stuff showing. Why not? Because it's a, somebody's address. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Go stalk that person. You don't even know who it is and no, where they live. it's okay. Isn't that beautiful? And she had kits she was selling at the Country House Retreat and for this hat. And she is in the Mason Dixon Knitting bracket to so go and vote mason dixon is doing some kind of march madness bracket thing mm -hmm. with knitting patterns and she's in the accessories um pattern and so go and vote for the lineage it's a beautiful hat. hat so anyway it is it really is pretty so show us what you bought to make the archer so i really love the colors not the archer 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 
the colors that were in the sample, they were beautiful. And so when we went to La Bienvenue, I did these two. There's so many choices. Oh my gosh. But when I saw this, and this was kind of relatively close by. And we, and, the, and they even said it. what you said when you, you, Debbie was talking to me out loud and saying these, I know the stripes are. As opposed are, to talking to you in my head. <laughs> as opposed to you talking to yourself out loud, like I do. You actually were speaking to me and I was listening. Okay. Let's just make that clear. Because I do do that. Debbie points that out to me. No, it was funny. Who was with us? Tracy. <laughs> From the grocery group. It was the one night that we were sitting up until three o'clock, three thirty in the morning. We were knitting with Danny and Tracy and me and Debbie. And I was saying something, and Tracy looked at me and she said, "Are you talking? Are to you me? talking to me? Am I supposed to be listening?" And Debbie said, "No, don't worry about it. She talks to herself <laughs> all the time and answers and interrupts herself while she's doing that." That became the running joke. Okay. Uh, anyway, two weeks is going to be plenty enough. So I was talking to, to you out loud. And it was funny because Amy said the same exact thing to you. Amy we, who? Oh, Amy Labienne. Amy. Yes, the Amy. The Amy. She said the same exact thing to you as you said to me. Yes. You said it will stripe, but because they are not high contrast, it will stripe subtly. You will be able to see the stripes. And that's exactly what the, the effect Debbie wanted was a subtlety of stripes. Right. And this is... I mean, the stripes are somewhat subtle. This middle part hold this open if you want to hold is stripey. So, and you have the option, but you can see, like, this is the other color that's striped with this color. So even that blends because the stripes are so narrow. So mine's going to probably blend, blend even more. And the bottom you can band, do the bottom you're going to do gold. I don't know. I, I'll wait and decide when I get there. I think you should do a hot pink. Maybe. No, I'm only kidding. So that was my second purchase for a sweater. That's the second sweater. So then the other sweater we're going to do... We're going to do the same sweater. Well, Fiona, we're going to do the same sweater. But we're going to do Isabel Kramer. You have it pulled up? I do. This is one we... we somebody else prepared. was knitting at the retreat or had mm -hmm. it done. I and we said, let me try it on. I didn't even know about this cardigan. Every Isabel Kramer cardigan looks pretty. I've had it in my favor for looked, a while. She's this big. I was worried about knitting it because I wasn't quite sure how how it would fit or so I don't remember what so it was pulled down about. so they can see the uh, oh oops. So they can see the name of it at the top. Yes, right there. Even though you probably it'll probably be blown out. Why does your phone do so much better than mine? I don't know. So it's so, a DK weight. No, yes. DK weight cardigan with and, 10 buttons and who had it who had it Pat had it knit and Kathy was knitting it and I tried on Pat's do we know their Instagram names um no it's Pat dot some kind of numbers I think um if you go in my Instagram you'll see a picture of Pat and she'll be when we were at the country house retreat She's the one that helped us plan the second half of our trip. She was so sweet. She has short, reddish hair. And she hair. said, if I come to America, I'm going to call you and you're going to sort me out. Is yes, what she said. we said. And when she said that, we said, I think she's getting aggravated. We, we should be quiet. No. But then we saw her at, We saw her yesterday. And she was perfectly happy to see us. Yes. So either she was put a, a put on or she was really happy to see us again. <laughs> okay, so the DK weight. Uh, so... Let's talk so about we tried it on and we the knew it was color look good. of the year. That mustardy, beautiful mustardy color that gold, can yeah. gold, that can turn that can be more towards the goldy mustard, more like this versus the greeny mustard. Well, we found the perfect color. We held it up to my face. I don't know. So I didn't think it was going to look good. I found an even better color. Look at that, you guys. Oh, Amy, that's a great representation. So Amy's going to have a nice woolly. Eighties or however you say Somebody said that. it's a ginger color. It's a it's a, I it's a perfect. It's not really paprika. It's not really pumpkin. And it's tonal. And let wait till you see my buttons. And I did get an extra button, people. They're so cool. They're metal. Isn't that going to be stunning? Okay, so you hold the picture while I. I don't want to put this yarn. down. No, <laughs> it's going to be perfect with your hair, Amy. Okay, so and so gonna... yours is a hundred percent wool, right? And yes. The, and it's from a oh, a yes. flock of sheep that are from northern England, 
and they actually, Wales, I think, and they actually just moved to Edinburgh. So now mm -hmm. they're going to be a local Edinburgh The sheep yarn. moved too? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think the farm is going to be the same, but the store is moving or the so I got people that dye the yarn are moving. Shetland. And I thought, that is going to be too hot and too woolly and too warm. She's going to end up gifting me the sweater, so I'll have to. I can't to. knit all these beautifully warm sweaters and then no, never, wear them. never wear them. So I found, we went to Eden Cottage Yarns a little bit later. And this is not really showing up the way it looks. It's not. What looks gray is actually a very pale, icy blue, greenish. Teal. It's almost like a very icy, sea foamy color. And then it has these pops of a little bit of rust in them and gray, darker, bluish gray, bluish gray. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. I'll take a try and take a good picture. Oh, it's so beautiful. Too. So this is her Titus DK. It's called Cromer Pier. And it's actually 75% merino, 25% silk. Yeah. So this I'm is sure going to be a little bit drapier, but it's going to be really pretty. And sure it feels like it. Oh, yes. So these are the buttons that I got. They look like stone, don't they? Aren't they are cool? they stone? No. No, I don't think so. It feels too light to be stone. But they're all, you know, just a little bit different from each other. And I just, they blend right in. They pull out the dark specks a little bit with the dark speckles that's beautiful i can't wait i want this finished object immediately but i want to knit the archer immediately okay so what, what are you going to do i don't know what i'm going to do i'm going to work on my light rain terrible plan that's what, that's what you're going to do perfect <laughs> i want this one immediately i want this one immediately so i'll just work on something else so i have to show them my next sweater since you have your sweater from Hohe that you're knitting, I have a sweater that's different too, and that was an impulse buy. Oh, your impulse buy. Which and it thank very, you, people. I did not jump on the no, damn she wagon. Didn't. She I was said, very forget smart. it. You're on your own. And this is somewhat of a impractical, considering where I live. But I'm thinking that maybe, hopefully, it's perfect I will, for the North Pole, if you know what I mean. I will wear it as a jacket, similar to my other colorwork jacket. And, and the, I think I'm going to enjoy the process and the knitting of this. It's, a, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be fun to work with all the colors. It's going to be a beautiful finished object. If I end up not wearing it enough, then I'll send it to you. Or I'll That's perfect. I will encourage you all the way so, to knit it. And we made a pack that Nana's hands are not to go on this. Is that not the most gorgeous thing you guys have seen? I love that it's a... A short waisted party. Yes. yes. The this is two colors, light gray, dark gray, and then this is just a beautiful band of all different colors. I'll post a picture of the and yarns it, on Instagram. You can't see, but they have sort of a Celtic knot button right there. And that kind of it just this is the button I bought for that. That now that is metal. It's sort of hand hammered. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It was really weird with the buttons. I mean, she had all these little glass jars uh, compiled in color. The The first button, almost the first button I picked up for this, the same thing with all the others. We always, we kind of went back to the same first and button. And it's, the pattern is only in this book. And so I had to purchase the book, but there are several other patterns in here that I think I will And what knit. I thought was really, really great, instead of having a whole wall of all the colors in the rainbow plus. Look at that. And you having scarf. to pull out. They mm. basically pulled all the little balls. Show them what the little balls look like. They pulled all the little balls out and stuck them in this bag. Those are, and it's all for the largest size, so you have plenty Is of yarn. Too? There we go. Sorry. Jameson. And they had all the colors. It's like, it's perfect. Yeah. It's not like perfect. It is perfect. It is perfect. perfect. Okay, Sorry, so Mom. let me get to the actual. Oh, I like, look at I that like the hat. Cow. Look at look at the top of that hat, you guys. So I could order more Jameson wool and make that. What was the cow kit? Separate. If I did color work, it's a. Uh, is it a scarf? It's a. I think I it's a scarf. Was, I there was another one in there that was No, a I think cow. it's a scarf. I, I already showed that one. Let me look here and find the other one. That's like a poncho. There, that's oh, a fur, cow. fur a cowl. Fur a cowl. And that is would be soft enough against the neck. 
Well, did you feel the samples that were there? I don't know. I don't know how sensitive. This is another one of the yeah. sweaters that I could make with the color work on the bottom. And I would steep this, maybe make the neckline a little bit lower. <clears throat> Oh, fingerless mitts. Do these go all the way? Mm -hmm. They go to here. Look at these fingerless mitts, you guys. I think they go to right there. Yeah, so if you want to try something new in color work and you've never done color work, doesn't mean you have to make the decision a huge project. You could do a color work hat or mitts. Mitts, is, mitts would be neat because then you can go round and round. Mm -hmm. They'd probably go pretty quickly. Okay, let's show what's on your wrist because I didn't put mine on yet because all of my stitch markers are on one of my projects. Oh. We were enabled by Emma E E W J E J W nineteen sixty nine over Instagram. here towards the center oh, a little bit. It's a leather wait a minute. It's a leather band that has magnet magnetic and you can choose a little any little bit of stitch markers and these are really cool because they're silver and they're really super light really cool. and they're shaped like teardrops so we, amy and i i mean this this number of stitch markers was half of what you half. got <laughs> yeah we split we figured oh my gosh we don't need to be by so two. we each got a bracelet and split the stitch markers and but where was my that from? stitch markers are on my neck thingy that was from did we get the car yes. from her? Yes. That was from this one. Katen Beeg. Kate. C A I T I N B E A G. Dot com. Dot com. So that's. Oh, Amy, we gotta go grab our bags. Go over there. Bag. I, I have mine right here. Oh, I didn't get mine. Didn't okay. Get mine. You go get them. Okay. We saw Amy Florence. It was really funny. I said, Amy. Of course, she knows me very well. I mean, I know her very well. She knows me, not at all. She doesn't know me. But I watch her podcast, Stranded Eye Works, Amy Florence. And she pulled out a couple minis she was giving to people. I said, you don't have to give me two. She says, well, I only give two to people I like. She gave two to Debbie, too. Thank you, Amy. Oh, it was so fun to see her. It she was so fun. She's as sweet She's and much bubbly. taller than I thought. She says, I'm going to cherish that comment because I posted. <laughs> she says, nobody tells me I'm taller than they thought. <laughs> Sweet. So sweet. Okay, so then we went back to La Vietnamese because our mystery knit along. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have another two color combination? And wouldn't it be fun just to have another two color combination from La Vietnamese? So I went back <laughs> and I got these two beauties. Oh my goodness. Those are look, excuse me, those are looking exactly these are singles. the color that they look. La Grand N A U G E, whatever that means. Nogue. No. Isle of Aaron is this color. Isn't that beautiful? Those are gorgeous. So, they just kind of glow in the light. I had to go back twice. And I found this skein because I'm going to do a two color mm. project that's going to be a gift. And I can, he's not going to watch. So, this is for the my friend who is holding down the fort at work for me to be gone for three weeks. And he's handling my client. Does he know what a hand easy. knit? He does. He knows. Does he know how. Precious it yes. is. I mean, it's better than you giving a check for money right. or chocolate. So this is okay. the gather skein that I bought at the Curious Handmade Retreat from Meta. Meta, And I wanted a dark something of similar. I showed this on the last one. I know, but somebody didn't see the last one. Okay. And Hertzie's shop isn't open just yet. And I found this kettle yarn Islington, which is blue face luster and silk blend. And it's really a dark charcoal that has the blue undertones so you can see how beautifully these are going to work up together and we kind of we made a it was a little risky because when we bought we this, this we didn't have us. the blue debbie says remember the blue remember it's kind of blue and i thought how are we going to pick well this was naturally anything dyed indigo but anything one, neutral ooh. dark and we just really went to them we said we need something in fingering we need something with silk or something drapey luxurious something dark and the so, girl pulled that off and we said yeah i think so i think i'm going to do a linen stitch scarf but I'm gonna do it with a much bigger needle than you would typically do so it's mm -hmm. almost gonna be woven like real scarf yes a scarf a, a wide you know flat something that's gonna be I think it's gonna be pretty he's gonna love it and 
less than 48 hours of being in Enver, Debbie got a work phone call. So we don't need to talk about that. It was not a big deal. It was 10 minutes. Okay, we're moving on. So we went to, oh, and this is one of the things that we were on our way out. Oh, yes. We had to leave. Of course. And Debbie says, oh, the knitting goddess. How fun is she? How she cool was really is she? sweet. Yeah. So we were looking at different things and uh, we just <clears throat> stood there and we had a really fun little chat. You cannot go to a yarn festival if you're a sock knitter and not buy at least one single skein of awesome sock yarn. And I to wanted to some... self striping and she had some samples and none really called my name. So then I w walked down to the middle of the table and I saw this. And that is a mohair blend. It's a mohair blend. It is not BFL self striping. And, mohair. and I, it's called Ghost. And I am going to stripe it with another purple in my that I have in my stash. So I'm going to get stripey socks out of it anyway. But this is the same so, blend as I have. In, I was going to say, base. do you think you're going to die? You could dye some I could die, dark, dark like purple this dark. and stripe this. That would be See that darkest little stripe. That's right going to look gorgeous, Amy, because. The alternating stripe is going to be a beautiful watercolor. variegated watercolor. But this has, I mean, these are not stripes, but in in here, there's, that's blown out a little bit, but it's the slightest moss, mossy green, mossy green, mossy green, several different colors of lavender and indigo. And then that dark purple. I would almost do the dark purple, like two stripes, two rows wide, and then do this four, four two, four, two, four. What well, you do so, which one, but yeah, that's going to be cool. Yes, cool. And this is the skein that I bought from her because... And that is a self-striping. It's a self-striping. You know how I love the jewel tones. This is called Black and Rainbow. And this is her BFL nylon base, 7525. British BFL. Nylon. Okay, so let's... We went to... Um, what was it? She was called the Traveling Knitter. Is that what it was? Yes. She was so cute, too. Well, where's mine? The cutest. And we saw her yarn. We said, where did we see your yarn? Right over there. We've seen your yarn. Where have we seen your yarn recently? And her yarn was in... It was in like, Wild and Woolly. Wild and Woolly in London. Yeah. So as a little... And I bought a skein for the Maristem mittens. That oh, that's right. Teal, that teal that color. Beautiful teal. Uh, so we bought a ticket to nowhere. <laughs> it's a little pack of stitch markers. And a needle. And a needle. Darn needle. Darn needle. Isn't that cute? Perfect. Debbie got Debbie got one too. I got one color. too. I got red. So we're there. gonna show our luxurious souvenir oh. spend. It's the, the hold this up first. It's a it's a button. No. <laughs> but that is a button. Wooly Originals designs color work patterns and they knit them. They knit the fabric on a knitting machine, but she still has to design. And the she pattern picks and out set all the, the wool and the colors from a far, a mill. Yes. You, if you don't do anything, you must go over to this website and look at the most incredible things that they do. We got a bookmark from her with. It's called uh, WoollyOriginals.com. If you can see all the different types of bags. Little she zips, makes little tiny zips, and then a medium size shawl, bigger zips, and a bigger size, a bigger one, and then she makes what we bought, what we bought. and even one size bigger than what we bought, I think, too. You ready? Yes, button in the front, yeah, not hooked. Okay, well, I would hook it. Look at that, they're totes. It is the softest linen handles. Is this linen, Debbie? Mm-hmm. And the lining is linen, too. And it has a pocket. Two, it's actually two, two separate pockets. Two separate pockets. Yours is it's just the cream. Look, mm -hmm. mine has mine has a design on the oh, pocket fabric. I didn't notice that. Let me see. How many people does it take to show a pocket? Apparently more than two. It's wooly. It's gorgeous it's a wonderful souvenir and they it's said something splurge. about this tree oh this is near this woman's house there was thousands of little seedlings that 
were put as an orchard. So Debbie and I got the opposite See what of we each did other. For our buttons. Nice. Let's put our buttons on here. I'm not put it on here. Go ahead. Tell about it's, the tree. So they were planting this huge orchard. So that gave her the inspiration for this design. For for this design here. And then I think that's another fir tree that's common in the area. I don't remember what the name of it is. I love it. <clears throat> and we wouldn't have unless we were walking past. And we we laughed at their booth. Do we laugh at every booth? I they think laughed we did. at us when we well, go to every booth. Is that booth. what they were doing? Yeah. This one guy where I got my the woolly, Sorry for the crinkles, my woolly, but I really want to put this on the stuff that bag. I got for my sweater, the the lady, who was he to her, I wonder? I wasn't, I'm not even going to ask, I'm not even going to no, question, but anyway. He was a worker. He was a worker, and I said, uh, is all that you have out on the table is what you have? He said, yes. I said, you don't have any more under the table? He said, no. I said, I so if he, was he lying. I don't think he was. No? You think they put it all she, out I said, what do you, I said, what do you think she'll give you? What, what will she do if you sell everything on this table? He said, I don't know. And she says, you may get custard after lunch. You sell everything on the table today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Such here we go. People. This is a description of the Wooly Originals. Outer fabric, machine knit, and Shetland wool from Jameson's of Shetland. Lining material from Scottish linen in Kirk called the Fife. Fife. Hand wash only. Shape whilst drying. Press linen fabric if needed. Design, Heritage Orchard, based on the organic apple, pear, and plum orchard planted by East Coast Organics in East London. No, East Lothian. East Lothian, thank you. Scotland. Scotland. So this is... Says the same, same thing. thing. What does that say? Scots pine, pattern based on the native Scottish tree. Pinus, Pinus sylvestris. sylvestris. Sphagnum and... Natural white natural were the white. two colors of mine. Is that wonderful. not the best? Wonderful, wonderful. The, you know, we're taking, we're splurging. We definitely are splurging. But if you don't splurge on a sister's trip of a lifetime, when else are not you going to... Not just a sister's trip. The sister's, the sister's trip, trip of a lifetime. When else are you going to splurge? And how fabulous does that look? Wonderful. Love oh, it. your button has a little thing on it. My what thing? My button. Oh, I just have a green button Ooh. like this. Yours is a little. Yeah, mine's like a little design, like a little hand painted ceramic, ceramic flower of some kind. Okay, um, so that's what we bought, and it's all going to go into the post office in the big box. Mine is. I'm just going to trust it's going to get there. I'm not going to think about okay it not going home. We're going to walk a little bit. It's today. about a mile. 1.3 miles or so up to the Elephant Cafe. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Which is right near the castle. We, need, where, we haven't even put, laid eyes on the castle yet. We've been here our two days. Yeah. We need to do that. We're it's like who Rowling's. goes to the beach? Who goes to the beach and doesn't go down to the ocean the very first hour you're there? Nobody. That's where the author of the Harry Potter books wrote some of yes. the books. Overlooking the castle. I, I'm sure you can see the castle from that. It's so close. So we're going to go for a walk. It looks like it's kind of windy. The clouds are blowing by quite quickly. We'll take we're our umbrella. bundle up. And then we'll come back here and pack up the things we're going to be shipping. We'll take those down right next to the corn exchange. There's the equivalent of a Walmart. And we were told by our friend Allison that there's a big um, post office in there. So we will. Oh, they have big boxes too. She said they have boxes you can That's purchase. Good. So we'll cart all of our stuff, get it off in the mail. To lighten our load and go back to the... And shop more. Now we've decided no, this is what no. we're going to do. We want to see every single booth. And we thought today might be a fun day or maybe tomorrow. Today is, is going to be really crazy wild. We may just sit in the podcasters area where they have lots of tables. People mm -hmm. can eat and, we and just visit sit. We want to visit, visit people. We but need before, to see Soprano Knits. Yes, Becky. Before she runs and runs out and then has to perform in the morning uh, in Germany, mind you. So um, we want to do, we want to get a little tasting of some of our favorite shops. You can't buy a, well, you could buy a skein from every shop. Do that. We're going to buy some minis, like Mothy and the Squid. I want to get a mini from there. and uh, We should do some Edinburgh scrappy socks from our minis. That'd be fun. Yes. Put them all together. I think I'm going to keep mine all together and... That's one thing that we could fun. wind the minis and start now. Yeah, we could. Let's help. There's so many things I want to start. We need more hands and more time. 
And it's almost 45 minutes. Okay, so we better move. Sign off. Okay. So, bye bye. If you can't be kind, be quiet. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll check in well before we head out. Yep. Okay. See ya. Bye.